Hi and welcome to The Property Show. We have a packed edition on this season's most sought after projects available in the market. Property News brings a trailblazer in the built and construction industry, a must watch. If the future is great, not just for us, for all players in the built environment in Kenya, if we support each other to grow together. On the accessory spot, we share tips on how to upgrade the outdoor space. Our favorite home ownership segment shares insights on challenging yourself, working with professionals, and starting the home ownership journey wherever you are. Get motivated, think of what you can do and start out that. You can actually use whatever you have acquired to build up over time. Finally, I'll be giving an overview on hidden charges when buying property. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Let's connect on our social media handles, send in your feedback, questions, comments, and let's talk. As always, there is something for everyone. Next, the property pick of the week, focusing on this season's most sought after projects available in the market. Top on the list is Tilisi Development, a mixed use project located just 30 kilometers away from the CBD. Tilisi Development is a 400 acre master plan development. What makes Tilisi the ultimate address is the location, the beauty, greenery, accessibility, convenience, it also comes with a wide choice of different houses to pick from. Let's hear more. Tilisi Views offers a serene, secure and peaceful environment to live in. The first phase comprising of 28 units is nearly complete and occupancy is set for October 2021. Well, guess what? If you missed out on the first phase, you definitely don't want to miss out on this. Phase 2 of Tilisi Views will consist of 43, 3 and 4 bedroom villas. The homeowners will enjoy a covered entry porch, a spacious lounge area with a fireplace, an open plan fully fitted kitchen with high end appliances from Borch, a door leading to an ensuite DSQ, large windows for natural lighting, high ceilings, and an ensuite bedroom fitted with wardrobes and laminate floors. The common amenities will include a guardhouse and security gate park cluster and in the main Tilisi Views entrance. A galvanized clear view steel fencing on the perimeter of Tilisi Views. A clubhouse with a children's play area, landscaped cluster courtyards, private garden space in each villa, paved footpaths and 6.8 kilometers jogging track, street lighting, street level visitors parking, provisions for ICT and cable TV, sewage treatment plants, borehole water supply, schools, hospital and shopping center will be in the vicinity, backup generator for common areas. The homes are set in an excellent location with great views. With value for money, these homes will sit on approximately eighth and quarter acre plots, respectively with a price ranging from 
23.5 million to 37 million Kenya shillings. The lifestyle here will be equivalent to none. The environment makes this location truly enviable as it is designed to help you reach your entire essential and lifestyle services. Gitanga Duplexes is the next most sought after project this season. This rare collection of elegantly appointed two level four bedroom units within a private gated complex is located eight kilometers away from the CBD. Each duplex unit comes with a spacious living room, fitted kitchen with a detached pantry, guest bedroom, washing area, balconies, exterior storage tanks, two parking slots for each unit, high-speed lifts, heated swimming pool, a gym. Yetanga Duplexes has all the amenities needed for a modern family. Let's find out more. Gitanga duplexes are a modern development located in the heart of Lavington off Gitanga Road. Privileged by its exquisite design and opulent finishes, this elegant residence offers 36 four-bedroom ensuite duplexes. Accommodation includes lower level, spacious living room, dining room, fitted kitchen with detached pantry, guest bedroom on select units, Doobie area with washing machine provisions and exterior storage for gas tanks. Upper level, spacious master ensuite bedroom with walk-in closet, two bedrooms ensuite, TV or family room which can be turned into a fifth bedroom. Salient features include two car parking spaces per unit, low maintenance fully glazed UPVC windows, balconies with panoramic views, carbo paved driveways, guardhouse, underground and overhead water tanks. Another project that has attracted a lot of inquiries this season is Five Star Paradise. This iconic gated development is designed with absolute luxury and comfort allowing residents to enjoy a city life with a countryside living experience. The project also comes with all the amenities ideal for a modern family, including a fully fitted gym, a tennis court, a picnic site, as well as an outdoor heated swimming pool. The icing on the cake is they offer different typologies you can choose from. Take a look. Five Star Paradise is located in Runda off Kiambu Road past the Northern Bypass. This development is in close proximity to prominent shopping destinations, recreational spots, business hubs, schools, as well as hospitals. This state-of-the-art development provides the residents with conveniences of city life along with the pleasures of modern countryside living amid the green expanses and misty hills of the scenic Kiambu area. Phase 1 comprises of four house units as follows. Paradiso. These are five bedroom luxurious units with a plinth area of 4,262 square feet. The unique features are double doors, open plan kitchen with an island, extra lounge with a fireplace, a downstairs guest bedroom, a bathtub, a shower cubicle and a walk-in closet for the master bedroom. Canaan. These are four bedroom luxurious units with a plinth area of 3,487 square feet. They come with the following unique features. An open plan kitchen, a downstairs guest bedroom, a bathtub, a shower cubicle and a walk-in closet for the master bedroom. Azure. These are four bedroom premium units with a plinth area of 3,087 square feet. These units offer a spacious outdoor garden, a sunken guest cloakroom. Eden. 
There are three bedroom premium units with a plinth area of 2,604 square feet. They come with large windows and sliding doors allowing free flow of natural light, a closed space kitchen, the family room can be converted into an extra bedroom. Shared outdoor amenities include a clubhouse and gym, a games room for pool table, table tennis, a tennis court, children's playground, heated swimming pool, terraced picnic area, ICT facilities and ready internet connectivity, ample car parking spaces for visitors, 18 meters tarmac boulevard, sewage treatment plant, water treatment plant, recycling of rainwater, smart utility meters, automatic backup generators for common areas, pressured water system with dedicated generator, ample water storage facilities, boreholes, and direct water from Nairobi Water. Unity Homes is another project that has attracted many inquiries this season. This exclusive chic estate of contemporary apartments sits at the heart of Kiambu County. It comes with one, two, three, and four bedroom affordable units. The apartments are spacious with an open kitchen concept, beautifully fitted wardrobes, provision for a washing area, as well as floor to ceiling sliding balcony doors complementing the outlook. Have a look. I'm here to give you a quick update uh, in terms of uh, what we've been able to achieve at uh, Unity East. So Unity East is a project in Tatu City largely comprised of uh, two bedroom and three bedroom units. Uh, from the last time uh, we were featured at Property Show, we had uh, not yet completed uh, the first row. Right now I'm happy to inform you that uh, we've already done the full shell work for the first row. Uh, basically that means that uh, we are very much on schedule in terms of uh, the timelines that we had communicated to our clients. For the next four blocks in the first row, uh, we are supposed to hand them over by November this year and uh, we have already done the structural works. So that means that we are only left with the finishing works. Ideally, that gives us a lot of time to play around with the finishing. And uh, in short, that uh, assures our clients that uh, the quality of the finishing will be impeccable. For the unit uptick, uh, so far we've uh, sold out 40% of the entire project, which is quite remarkable considering the fact that uh, most of these uh, people who are buying into our development are uh, both people from within the country and in the diaspora. The thing that uh, makes us sell so fast is the fact that when clients come to site and see the progress of the development, as well as look at uh, the quality of the finishing, they really get impressed. So that is uh, one of the factors that uh, really helps us push in terms of the number of sales that we have. The other thing that uh, resonates quite well with the market is the fact that uh, based on the location that we are in, it's uh, quite convenient for most people, especially people who do commuting from this location to town, uh, because you take roughly around uh, 30 minutes to get to town. And then also the kind of amenities that we are offering in comparison with the service charge that we are charging, it's one of the most reasonable in the market. Our units uh, start from $61,750 and uh, basically the price uh, varies depending on uh, the view that you're going to select as well as the floor that you're going to select. And then we also have quite uh, amazing payment plans uh, that we are offering to you. In addition to that also we've partnered with banks uh, so we have mortgage options as well. In case you've not visited our development before, we are happy to invite you to come and view what you're doing at uh, Unity Homes. We have uh, two show houses on site and also we have a dedicated team that's always readily available to assist you and walk you through our development. Unity East is master plan community set in the heart of Tattoo City. The community consists of 640, two, three, 
and four bedroom contemporary apartments offering a tranquil yet modern living experience powered by world-class amenities. The accommodation features will include an 85 kilogram Turkish high security steel door that opens into the well-lit living room with an expansive balcony with glass railing on one side and an open plan kitchen on the other. A futuristic style kitchen with honeycomb tile features, polished Italian style granite tops, standard extractor hood and a breakfast bar. Next to the kitchen, each unit has a spacious utility room with a provision for a washing machine. From the living room, one finds the shared bathroom consisting of a water closet, frameless glass shower screens, rain shower and a vanity. Next is the ensuite master bedroom and two other bedrooms that have white UV high quality wardrobes. 150 litre solar water heating with booster and smoke detectors. The common shared amenities will include Unity East Gatehouse, 24-hour man security with use of access cards, CCTV surveillance, access to a state-of-the-art fitness center, community park with jogging tracks, children's playground, a breathtaking expansive swimming pool, a gym and mini market. Another project that has continued to top the list takes us to Royal Gates. This project is a family delight and ticks all the boxes from location to amenities. The cutting edge design, the layout of the estate, the architectural layout of the units, the exquisite superior quality finishes, fully fitted kitchen, beautiful light fittings, and it gets better with their flexible payment plans. They accept cash and mortgage payments and you can also buy your dream home in this beautiful estate with an installment payment plan. Let's take a look. Royal Gates is a gated community located in Acacia, four kilometers from Kitangela town. This development consists of 78 four-bedroom detached townhouses. Amenities include a spacious lounge with a separate dining area, modern kitchen fitted with quality appliances and ample storage space, master ensuite bedroom with inbuilt wardrobes and a bathtub, an ensuite guest bedroom, two additional bedrooms with a common bathroom, internet ready as well as a centralized TV port. Other features include detached ensuite DSQ with ample wash area, two parking slots per house, a swimming pool, a fully equipped gym, borehole and wastewater recycling system, private gardens, children's playground, CCTV cameras, electric fence and perimeter walls for security, street lighting, solar power and cabra paved driveway. Upscale Homes Budget Solution is another most sought after service this season. This is a tailor-made service for plot owners looking to turn their plots into dream homes. It's an easy service with just a few steps to follow.
you start off by picking a design from our ready architectural drawings. Engage our consortium and lock the timelines. Let me point out our role of turning the plot into a dream home. One, we coordinate the consortium and the contractor. We get approvals from the county and the relevant authorities. We manage the project from inception all the way to completion. We also manage procurement of materials, construction workers, and day-to-day -day financial expenditure. Our strength is ensuring the construction is done professionally within contract timelines and costs. Our promise is to build your dream home seamless and stress-free. And if you're looking for project finance, we work with financial institutions who will make it happen. Do you have a plot and would love to build a dream home? Just give us a call and within nine months, your dream home will be ready for occupation. Unbelievable. Our signature bus tour is just around the corner. The bus tour is the first and last mile when getting onto the property ladder. What do I mean? You get to view many properties within a day. You get tips and advice from professionals on board whilst connecting with like-minded people. While at it, we also have lots and lots of fun. Save the date and book your seat today. Karibu sana on the show. Thank you very much, Nancy. And how did you get to hear about the bus tour? How did you book? And how was your experience? Well, I got to hear about the bus tour from a friend of mine who was looking for property and had told her that I would support her in any way. So I actually didn't even get to book. Mm -hmm. So um, um, she just told me the date, she told me on a Saturday morning, uh, be at uh, International Lifehouse. And uh, that's how I found myself on the property show bus tour. How was your experience after getting at uh, International House? Um, First of all, I, I, I liked the spirit of excellence. It was very well organized so, and very systematic. So the first thing we went and did is we signed up, gave our details. And then surprisingly, they had a sumptuous breakfast for us at that hour. I didn't actually expect that, to be honest. Um, I think I'd already had breakfast because I expected it's just a bus tour. You just get on the bus and, you know, no refreshments. So we then had um, breakfast. After breakfast, um, we, had an, we had an overview of what to expect and the different areas that were there and giving us just a background about the business and who would be in the different buses with us. So it was, for me, it was, it, was, it was very well executed, yeah. And which route did you pick? So we took the route that went to Kiambu, the Kiambu route. Um, and, and, and that was very interesting because we went, we did Kiambu, I think, and we did Kahawa and even went to, I mean, and went to even to Roiro. Uh, for me, it was, it was a very good experience because we saw different kinds of property. We saw very high end, um, we saw some very nice furnished, we saw townhouses, uh, we saw apartments in Kiambu. So it gave me a very good um just overview of the different properties that, that are there and the different things that you can do, um, which for me definitely would not have happened if I was going by myself. I would not have been able to see those properties. Many people who hear us talking, join us for the bus tour, join us for the bus tour, I'm sure don't understand the nitty gritties and what we offer. Maybe you can break down if you're alone, you won't get such opportunities to see all those properties and what else should they look out for? Okay, so, so one of the things also that um, for me this bus tour stood out for me 
is that we were able to have the different partners in the bus. Each, each bus had um, somebody from the legal side and we had a financial institution. So the idea was that any questions that you had would be able to be addressed as you're going through, as you're seeing the property. And, and, I, and I really liked that because many people sometimes um, are not very sure about what it involves getting your first property, the legal process. And even in terms of the financial, just understanding that it is possible for you to be able to afford property where you are at. It doesn't have to be very expensive. There are ways that you can go about it. So I like that so that and even gave you the opportunity as you saw different um, properties and you were probably interested. Then you would go and ask the financial institution. This is amount X. And this is what I earn. And this is what this I is earn. This is where I am. This is where. Can I be able to afford, you know? So I really like that because anybody who was interested, even for a first timer, even if you don't see the property, you will come out wiser. You come out with knowledge. Exactly. Wow. And what about the rest of the day? So you went from one property to the other, had lunch in the bus tour, had lots of uh, fun. Yes. And, and, and another thing I need to add is that as we went to the different properties, we were able to meet the developers. Now, in normal, under normal circumstances, that doesn't happen. You probably go and find a site, know, rep. a site rep. But here was the developer. So the developer answers your questions. And then we had different people asking different questions that don't even cross your mind. Yeah. So then you get a response. So it was very enlightening, um, you know, just having the developer there. So, and, you know, as I said, again, it was really well executed. We had snacks in the, we had snacks and water as we were going around. And in the final venue, we actually then, as we were seeing the property, uh, we had a very nice lunch. That, a hot lunch. A hot lunch that started from the, you know, from the starter to, and, and, and we had dessert. Um, so, so for me, that was very good. Uh, because initially, one of the things where I was hesitant, I was like, I'm going to go in a bus ride a whole day. You're going to be so tired. What am I going to eat? What am I going to be? You know, it's going to be so boring. But this was, was fantastic. You didn't even notice the time passing. And I, I, you know, at the end of the day, I came out more knowledgeable. I came out wiser and more informed. For people who are watching us and they wonder, they, they still haven't made up their minds on joining us on the bus tour. What would you tell them? I would tell them that you have more to gain than to lose. That even if you're not in that position where you're ready, knowledge is power. You're going to be able to see what is out there and begin to do your research so that when you're finally able to, when you're ready to make that decision, you'll have all the information that you get. And it will be time well spent. As I keep saying, these are people of excellence. You, at the end of the day, you will not be feeling tired. You will be happy. Yeah. Thank you. Asante Sana. Thank you. It's time for a short break. Still ahead, the property news with a trailblazer in the built and construction industry. We have to become innovative at every step because the challenges keep changing. The accessory spot, bringing tips on how to upgrade the outdoor space. Our favorite home ownership segment with nuggets on challenging yourself, working with professionals, starting the home ownership journey where you are. If you must go the right route, find the good people who are able to advise you, look through the right channels. If you have to go through property show like I did from when you are campus and keep dreaming and keep challenging yourself, and that's what you should do. Don't go away, we'll be right back after the break. Are you faced with dull fading paint or peeling and wood finish with the same defects? Then Crown Duco 2K Acrylic for Auto and Wood Finish is for you. This multi-purpose two-pack acrylic-based paint 
acts as both an aesthetic and protective coating. Quick drying with excellent gloss and protection from weather and elements. And it's also scratch resistant, giving you prolonged aesthetics and protection from metal, fiber, reinforced surfaces and even wood. With a wide selection of colors to choose from, Toyota Series and Nissan Series, Tuk Tuks, Mercedes, Pajero, Land Rover, Suzuki, wooden beds, tables, Crown Duco, two-pack acrylic paint, your multi-purpose auto and wood finish for prolonged aesthetics. If you like it, crown it. Welcome back. This is the Property Show. We all agree getting into the manufacturing space is not a walk in the park. I caught up with my next guest earlier this week. She's a trailblazer in the built and construction industry. She's also the Abla Award Business Woman of the Year finalist. For 20 years, she has been providing innovative, quality and affordable specialized building solutions. She believes with the changing business environment, we should look inwards for our own solutions. Let's listen in. Thank you so much, Winnie, for inviting us yet again in this beautiful place and congratulations for being in this business for 20 years. What's next after here? Oh, thank you, Nancy. As always, uh, we value the platform that you give us and all other players in the built environment. Space and Style is excited to celebrate 20 years of its anniversary since we, we started business here in Kenya. And the next 20 years is just, um, we are excited about growth, we are excited about sustainability, and we are going to the African market. The real estate sector has evolved, and we must agree, 20 years is a long, long time. What are the trends that you're seeing today and what are the changes that we should be expecting in the real estate sector as we go forward? As a building materials uh, provider, you know, we started a trend 20 years ago of a stone-coated steel roofing um, profiles under Decra brand. And we have slowly evolved and innovated over the last 20 years, increased our product portfolio. And uh, now we are starting to see people become more innovative, more expressive. We are seeing uh, growth in the consumption or adoption of alternative building solutions. Use of steel has increased um, through light gauge steel. Uh, people are looking for modular construction methods, better ways of expressing themselves. The changes in designs are happening and new products are coming to the market. We are also seeing that um, the green building concept is actually becoming a trend and uh, manufacturers like us or building uh, solutions providers like us and any other players are now becoming more conscious about the need to be um, sustainable and to provide green building products for Kenya because we are now more conscious about climate change and the impact on our lives. How has this journey been, especially being a woman, breaking the barriers? Well, it's been um, challenging, but it's also been very rewarding. Um, starting from, you know, a very small business, being a trader and an importer of, of building solutions or roofing uh, solutions, and now setting up a fully-fledged manufacturing um, line in Juja. That transformation has been very challenging, mainly because um, we were introducing products that are well at, um, beyond our, you know, what was available in the market. So changing concepts, changing specification, building relationships has taken time and a lot of focus. Um, but now when we walk through the factory and see the products that we are able to manufacture, they are silly roofing, the excitement when Kenyans embrace a locally made uh, roofing tile which has been made to global standards it has been very, very rewarding. Growing a team, growing with my team that we started, you know, many years ago, we have all evolved, um, become, you know, stronger business people, stronger uh, players in the building industries and I'm very proud to have a team like the one I have at Space and Style. As a manufacturer, very many women shy away from that industry because we feel like it's so hard, it's a man's world. How do you integrate yourself? We don't produce products um, because we are women. We 
focus on producing high quality products that can compete anywhere, not only in Kenya, in Africa and in the world. And when you produce quality and you stand by your quality and you're able to offer consistent um, service, then you'll be able to compete, irrespective of the fact that you're a woman. We do get biases and I know women fear getting into manufacturing space, but I encourage anyone to just uh, come, try, start small like we did. Um, we started with our light gauge steel frames, uh, went into the roofing, uh, trusses and buttons, and now we are doing the full um, roofing tile. So start small, progressively increase your capacity, and also put yourself in the space of other manufacturers, like I did through Kenya Association of Manufacturers. What are the main challenges you've gone through, and what would you tell a woman or somebody who is thinking of entering into this business? Challenges are always evolving. Um, you know, we are now 20 years old. Uh, when we started off, of course, we had challenges of, you know, manpower, systems, structures, building our brand, getting access to finance, um, even financial literacy. So those are challenges you start off with as a business. As you grow bigger and a bit more established, the, 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 you know, the challenges change to other, you know, uh, challenges related to regulation. To compliance, um, well, then you have to up your, in, you know, access to information, you know, logistics, supply chain issues. We all experienced, as you know, a major setback during COVID because we had um, a lot of challenges with disruptions in supply chain. And now, if you look at, uh, you know, in our 20th year, we're experiencing new challenges um, that are coming from the global space. We are seeing the impact of, of, um, you know, destabilizations in the world uh, that are you know, impacting Kenya's, um, you know, foreign exchange uh, uh, rates, for example. Uh, we are seeing growth of inflation, increased inflation in the country. We are seeing um, people struggling to make payments. So, you know, we have to become innovative at every step because the challenges keep changing. Let's shift gears and let me take this opportunity to say congratulations for being the finalist at ABLA Awards as the Business Woman of the Year. Let's talk about that experience. Um, I mean, it was a very great honor and very humbling to be a finalist in this year's um, ABLA um, under the category of uh, Businesswoman of the Year. I uh, was one among four African finalists and the only one from East Africa. So it was a special recognition and a validation of the journey that we've had over the last 20 years. What does it mean to you um, to be part of, a, part of an event such as the ABLA? What would that mean to you, to your business, to other future generations that are coming after you? I mean, first, it places me in the company of really esteemed business leaders. I am happy to be here to network with other business leaders. Um, it's a very good positioning for our business. It gives us an outlook um, in Africa and puts us in a position to expand to the African market. Being in that space and, you know, attending the gala event at Sun City in South Africa was an eye opener. Um, I found myself in the space where I could network with other African leaders. Um, different kinds of leaders in different spaces, you know, innovation, management, um, finance, and also exposing space and style to a different platform, where then we saw that we could start benchmarking with other leading African businesses. So it was a unique and very valuable experience, not just for me, but for our brand space and style. And it gave us confidence that we are doing the right thing and we shall continue doing the right thing. After 20 years, bring it home where are you taking us you know nancy we as africans have to start looking inwards to find solutions that are relevant and that work for us as africans as an african business starting off in kenya we have to find solutions that are suitable for us and we saw it during the pandemic we had to start looking inward to find solutions through manufacturing for ourselves knowing that as businesses in Africa, we will only thrive when we work together, support each other and grow together as we grow our economies. So we are looking at the African market over the next, you know, five, 10 years. The second part of the 20 years, I'm sure we'll be uh, tackling the world. So if the future is great, not just for us, for all players in the built environment in Kenya, if we support each other to grow together. Let me echo what Winnie has said. In business, challenges keep changing. Be ready, be flexible, and keep going.
Coming up, the accessory spot with tips on upgrading the outdoor space. Patio is an outdoor space that is open to the sky but can also have an overhead roof and can be attached to a structure or detached. Your patio surface material gives it a distinct look as well as enhances the time you spend outdoors. Factors such as location, size of the outdoor space, budget, personal preference and local building codes will guide you on choosing the right surface for your patio. Gravel. Using gravel for the surface is going to be one of the simplest ways to make it happen. Gravel is generally an inexpensive material, so getting your hands on it is going to prove to be easy. It is also relatively simple for you to install this type of patio without even being handy. Concrete. Concrete is going to give you a bit more bang on your buck in terms of longevity. It can also be a bit easier to maintain when compared to the gravel options. You may need to perform some repairs over time to keep things running. Tiles. Tiles are an option many people choose to go for for their patio areas. When you want to have a patio area that is easy to clean and feels pleasant to walk on, tiles are very hard to beat. It has many positive qualities that make it the sought after option. Usually, tiles will be placed upon another surface that will act as the base. Cut stone. This is essentially stones that are cut into shapes so that you can easily use them to form a patio surface. Using these cut stone tiles is very easy and should wind up giving you a simple experience if you're handling installation by yourself. You can also pick out something impressive such as marble, or you can go with a more practical option such as sandstone. Patio pavers. Patio pavers are another simple option that can make installing a patio by yourself a bit more manageable. They are made to interlock with one another, making installation a breeze. This means that you can install your patio without even having to use materials, grout or mortar. It is really convenient and saves you a lot of time. Clay bricks. Bricks have a classic look to them that will allow you to create a gorgeous patio area. It really does give you a feeling of something from the past when you decide to install a feature such as this. It can be a bit more expensive and difficult to accomplish than some of the other patio methods on this list, but it may be worth it to you based on how nice it will look. Accessory Sport segment brings latest decor trends. Are you an interior designer? And would like to share your cutting edge products on this platform? Just give us a call and we'll be happy to feature them on this platform. Next, nuggets on challenging yourself working with professionals, starting your home ownership journey wherever you are. I would say, well, maybe not advice as such per se, but I would like to talk to people my age, right? Some three pointers that I've always tried to live by, right? One, I would say, challenge yourself, right? There is this uh, guy that I like uh, reading about, it, uh, Richard uh, Branson. He's from the owner of this Virgin group, right? One of the biggest groups in the world. Yeah? This guy says that his greatest motivation is him challenging himself. So I'm looking at it and I'm saying, why can't I do it? Let's all do it. Let's just challenge ourselves to do it. 
it's simple, right? And then two, take that risk. I always say, take the risk. You never know the outcome of your efforts if you don't actually do it. And then lastly, which is very important for me, finding good people, good counsel, people, you know, who are going to help you. You are who you are with. You know, so if you must go the right route, find the good people who are able to, to advise you, look through the right channels. If you have to go through property show like I did from when you're campus and keep dreaming and keep challenging yourself, then that's what you should do, find good people. When you're thinking of home ownership, you have to think at the level your family is at. If you have a young family of school-going kids, you have to think of where they'll be going to school, so the home should be easily accessible to schools. You have to think of access to amenities that you want your children to have access to. You have to think of your commute to work, because are you having a quantity life or a quality life where you are spending so much time on traffic so that you get to that dream house on big space, or you would settle for maybe an apartment in a more nearer location where you have easy access to schools, to hospitals, to work and the rest. And for me, convenience overrides everything. My parting shot is um, you will never really have enough money to do whatever you want to do. So start with what that you have at that particular time. Get what you can. I always tell my friends, for instance, if, even if your dream is to live in Karen or Runda, you can always acquire a house in Umoja and rent it out. It will be giving you revenue even as you are renting a house at your, at your preferred location. So get motivated, think of what you can do and start out that. You can actually use whatever you have acquired to build up over time. I saw this quote on Facebook yesterday and it's a quote from Iman. Um, she's, she sends out words of wisdom, Iman does. <laughs> start now, start where you are. Start with fear, start with pain, start with doubt. Start with hands shaking, start with voice trembling, but start. Start and don't stop. Start where you are with what you have, just start. A home is indeed a long-term investment. It is important to prepare financially and mentally before embarking on this journey. Whether you're looking to buy, build a dream home, or just wish to understand the real estate sector, welcome to our offices and let's chat. One of the questions posed all the time is what are the other costs associated in buying property? When buying property, there are other costs that are separate from the actual cost of that property. These costs include valuation fees, which are incurred in submitting the transfer documents for valuation of stamp duty. duty fees, which is normally 2 or 4 percent, charged depending on the location of the property. The other charges are the legal charges. This is charged to the lawyers who help you put together the documentation. Registration fees is also another fee to consider when transferring documents in favor of the purchaser. Thank you for watching The Property Show. My shoot location is our Property Show offices. These conversations continue on our social media handles. Send in your comments, questions, feedback, and let's interact. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel 
for our weekly updates. As always, there is something for everyone. Kwaheri. Crown Paints. If you like it, crown it. <laughs>